Let's make it a good day. Coming up today, did Justin Timberlake play a bigger role in the Super Bowl controversy with Janet Jackson? New Info says, yes, he did. Then, you'll meet the Minnesota mom who's turning her love of Minnesota salads into TikTok fame. And from birthdays to ballparks, you are showing us your weekend. Here we go. Let's make it a good day. Bill. Good morning, Wyndham. Good morning, Duluth, and good morning to you. And welcome to the Jason Show. I'm Jace. Thank you for being here. Please say hello to my sidekick sister from another mister and America's favorite Subway sandwich artist, Kendall Mark, everybody. Hello. I put the arts and artisan. You do. <laughs> I would like wheat, foot long, roast yes. beef, please. Artisan American bread. cheese, mm -hmm. light mayo, lettuce, yes. salt and pepper, vinegar, and oil. That's that, it. That's my. That's an order. That's an order. That's an order. You I don't like a lot do of that. stuff. I don't like a. I, I'm a, a plain, plain Jane. Oh. Yeah. So I, Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I like plain stuff normally too. And then when I was a kid, my dad would get me Subway and we'd get so excited because he'd get it for us. And he'd always get these like crazy wackadoo things that like, I'm like, Dad, what? how did you even hear about this? It was like yeah. the special of the day. That's how. Cheap old man. Yeah. I just need <laughs> just a little bit. Just I little don't bit. need a lot of, yeah. A little something, something. Colin gets every, literally every vegetable and the thing is this tall. And then you smash it down and then you have to like un, uh, unhinge your jaw like a, like a boa <laughs> constrictor. I, 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 yeah, but yeah, it's hard. anyway. Hard days. Uh, I'm jealous of you. Why? Because uh, you got to go to a Twins game. I did. I, I am really jealous. I did. I went to the home opener. It was so fun. Okay, can I ask you a question? And I'm going to ask mm -hmm. for the people. Because mm -hmm. I. this is how I've said this. This is how I do Twins games. Mm -hmm. I like to walk around and eat. You can't do that anymore. What was the most surprising thing? Like, what's the procedure like? Well, one, it kind of more feels like you are going to a game on a Tuesday afternoon. That's how it feels. Like, there's just not a lot of people there, so there's that. But two, it didn't feel that different. Um, you have to go in a specific gate. Okay. That's kind of, it's pretty clear. Uh, you have to be wearing a mask unless you're eating, and you can't just be, like, milling around and eating and stuff. But you can still get in line for food and drinks if you want to. You don't have to do a mobile order. The bathrooms are wide open, which is kind of exciting at a ballpark. Yeah. Um, but we actually did, so they had a bit of a rain delay. We got up and we did go down and stand in some of the standing room only areas that no one told us we couldn't. We had a mask on. We just kind of stood and got a different view, like you normally do at Target Field. Yeah. Um, and that seemed to be okay. I don't work for the Twins. I don't know that. But other people were also doing that appropriately spaced out. And okay. It was just so nice to be back at the ballpark, you know? But if the Twins would like to retroactively yell at you, can they email you? Um, they should actually email Jason Matheson yeah, at. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm excited. I'm going uh, at the end of the month. I'm, okay. I'm going, going to one of the games. I just, I miss it. And I, it's the only sport that I really like. So. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was really, it was fun. Get out okay. there if you can. I felt really safe. I felt good. So. And uh, one more sports news before, uh, headline before we go. Uh, dear A-Rod, don't be a bucket head. Please keep the Timberwolves here if you buy it. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna no, no. I thought you were going to talk about the Masters this weekend. But. The Masters? Yeah. That's golf, right? Yeah. No, I didn't. No, no, no. I've only watched that twice. Oh. Both had Tiger Woods in it. 96, <laughs> 97, and then I watched in 2019. Good but job. I don't, yeah. Hey. I, I don't know. I know there's a green jacket involved. Yes. And a lot of older people. That's it. That's all yes. I know. Well, a lot of the stars these days are in their 20s, Jason. That's right. Thank you. I, I said that's right. I don't know. Let's get started. <laughs> Roll it, Leo. Let's get to the hot dish. Here we go. <laughs> there are a lot of younger people. Mm -hmm. A lot of young, a new generation of uh, golfers. Yeah. I like mm -hmm. that Rory McIlroy. He's not one of the newer generation, but. He's Kendall, a good I'm trying. Guy. For the okay. love of Pete, I'm trying. Okay. I was talking about like Will's outdoors. He was. I, I don't know any of those people. Mind. Never mind. We're just not going to. New details <laughs> about the infamous wardrobe malfunction at the 2004 Super Bowl, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the ocean. The stylist for Janet Jackson told Page Six that Justin Timberlake pushed for the malfunction 
because he wanted to outdo that Britney, Madonna, Christina Aguilera. The trio had stunned the world by scandalously, and I love that this was scandalous back then, scandalously kissing months earlier at the VMAs. Justin called it a wardrobe malfunction, but the stylist said the outfit did what it was intended to do. JT recently apologized again for the incident, and the stylist said Janet forgave him a long time ago. Well, this just kind of reaffirms what Janet fans have been saying for over a decade. Mm-hmm. And when I say Janet fans, I mean our, our biggest one, Jace, mm-hmm. uh, who, I got to tell you, if you think I love Dallas, Jace from our fan club, he's the one that got our logo tattooed on his leg. Mm-hmm. Jace loves Janet like I love chicken fingers mm-hmm. times 50, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he loves them like the Pope loves Jesus. That's right. But yep. this isn't good for Justin. <laughs> this isn't, this is just affirming. Yeah. Speaking of bucket heads, that he was a bucket head back then. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 when you watched it happen, there's no way, as we all know, and now is confirmed, that that just happened. Yeah. Like, wardrobe doesn't, you can't just, it doesn't do that. It no. doesn't do that. They, they practice, they rehearse, they test these things out, so it doesn't do that. Well, and I always loved the people back then, the, the, the aluminum foil hat society. That was, all, oh, she wanted this publicity. She did it herself. Why in the world would anybody want to put themselves in the position that Miss Janet found herself in? Right. That made no sense to me. No. Why in the world would a woman want, I'm just going to be very blunt, why in the world would a woman want her breast exposed? No. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Especially of Janet's level. Janet didn't need the publicity. She's no. Janet Jackson. She's Janet Jackson. Like, she didn't. No, no. Mm-mm. No. Next in the dish. SNL was new this weekend. British actress Carrie Mulligan was the host. Uh, now, I have thoughts on this episode, but before we do, I thought we'd show you a highlight. Here's one of my favorite sketches. Kate McKinnon as Carrie's study buddy. Look at this. Okay, well, I'm glad you called me because I did have a girlfriend at graphic design camp. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me. What's your body language? Okay, I am sort of curled in a fetal position away from her Okay, and what's she doing? Okay. She's looking at me. <laughs> My friend, we're in a bit of a pickle. Okay, we need some sort of wow factor. Why don't you whisper a secret sensually into her ear? Very good. Please remain on the line. One species of jellyfish is immortal. Wow. That's so cool. Thanks for telling me. Okay, somehow that went well. Everybody needs a Jason. That's uh, Edie Bryan as friend Jason. I love that skit. This was, look, I usually come on here on Mondays and I talk about how much SNL was more bad than good. Mm -hmm. This was one of the first episodes of the season, I think the only episode this season, where the majority, 80% of the skits, I laughed out loud. This, the iceberg skit uh, uh, from Weekend Update, the irritable bowel syndrome uh, commercial, uh, to the lesbian period drama trailer. Because what's what's a movie season without a lesbian period drama? I mean, seriously. Seriously. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it, it's, I don't know. I love the whole, and Carrie Mulligan, I had no idea that I was a fan of Carrie Mulligan. I walked away thinking, oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've loved her since uh, The Great Gatsby. Remember oh, that? she was mm-hmm. in that. Yeah, she was the, I can't, of course, I'm drawing a blank on what her name, her character. She's like the main female in the movie. Yeah. In Gatsby. But yeah, I loved her in that and then have sort of followed her since then. But I didn't watch this weekend. All I've so heard good. about, like, you need to go back and watch yeah. it. And, and then uh, her husband, M- um, Mumford. Yeah. I didn't even the know Mumford I liked him. Sons. Oh, I love them. I like, I, now I like them. Mm-hmm. Mumford and Sons. Mm-hmm. He made a little funny. She was great in the, the whole thing was good. Huh. It's okay. been a long time mm-hmm. since I've been able to say that. Yeah, you lately have been like, I've I been liked critical. one skit. I guess I'm in a good mood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. Right, Tyler? Right. Amanda Seyfried became a Hollywood star thanks to her role as a ditzy teenager in Mean Girls, but now she's nominated for an Oscar for her role in the Netflix movie Mank. She sat down with Willie Geist for Sunday Today and talked about growing up literally on camera. Look. Seyfried signed as a teenager with a modeling agency in New York. 
and soon was balancing high school with regular roles on soap operas. You don't scare me. Oh, New no, York became this think? place where dreams were made. I got fired from, or let go, whatever they say, written off, sorry. I got written off from all, all my children. People who are dangerous don't think they're dangerous, and that's what makes them dangerous. And what happens? Like, I go back to school, or hopefully I get a good role, and I got mean girls. I'm kind of psychic. I have a bit sense. What do you mean? It's like I have ESPN or something. My passion and my confidence helped me from mean girls on because I, I got work. I worked hard and I got work. I wish I had ESPN. <laughs> she went on to star, there we go, in two Mamma Mia movies. The first one was good. The second one um, was like being shipwrecked on a horrible island. Oh, stop. It was horrible. It was not. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yeah, oh, yeah it was never. horrible. It was not. Both of those earned like a billion dollars. <laughs> You about? liked the second Mamma Mia? Yeah, I'm oh! a, Okay, I'm a really big fan of hers in general. Like, do, you probably didn't, remember when Nicholas Sparks movies after The Notebook, like everybody was making a Nicholas yeah. Sparks movie? She did Dear John with my husband, Channing Tatum. Have you seen that? Yeah, again, I'd rather be pecked to death by chickens. <gasps> That's a Jason. horrible movie. Dear John, out of all the Nicholas, it's horrible. Okay, well, the characters are fantastic, and I love them, so. Oh, you mean the characters like in every Nicholas Sparks movie? Yeah, it's true love. Mm -hmm. True love. Mm -hmm. You know I'm going to get an email. Yep. You are so mean to Kendall. <laughs> we have a lot more to come, everybody. We'll be back right after this. He's in such a bad mood today. What's up with that? The fun is just getting started. Coming up next, move over grape salad gate. There's a new Minnesota salad controversy taking over the internet. I'll give you the freshly popped deets. Then speaking of salads, meet the Minnesota mom turning salads into TikTok stardom. And y'all were busy this weekend and you're sharing your fun with us. So get another cup of coffee because the Jason Show will be right back. Something is off in this picture. What could it be? Yeah, I got it. Rebecca. Uh, her husband is bald and way too small. <laughs> That's not her husband. That is a baby. Well, agree to misagree. Sandra. The mother only has one leg, so the baby flew out no problem. Hey, excuse me? And here is a clue. It has something to do with the glass of milk that's only full at the top. <laughs> Rebecca. Well, that pizza's left over from a porn set, but good for them for not wasting it. Yum. I'm going to talk to you after this. <laughs> they look like that because the mom just walked in wearing only a thong and heels. Not bad for a 60-year-old woman, Mrs. C, they were all being forced to say. <laughs> look at the milk. First off, they're holding the pizza from the side. Okay, that's something. Also, the boy in the striped shirt will grow up to kill his wife. No. <laughs> what is wrong with this picture? That could be an ongoing bit. They could bring that back uh, every so often mm -hmm. with different people. I love it. This is how nice. Uh, that's SNL, uh, more SNL with Carrie Mulligan. That's how nice our viewers are. We mentioned Subway. Elsie just mm -hmm. tweeted me. She was Jason, just so you know. You listed off your order, mm -hmm. roast beef. She goes, Subways don't have roast beef right now. People are so nice. They don't. It's coming back. Is it oh. coming back? I just got word. But that's how nice. People are so nice. Wow. So that, that saved you a trip. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. Now I just get roasted chicken. Yep. You know, on Mondays, we get a special serving a hot dish all the way from Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Brad from TMZ. Good morning, Brad. Hey, good morning, Jason. I, I didn't know that about the roast beef, but uh, I know where I'm not going to place my lunch order now. <laughs> that, that's right. Do you have, uh, is roast beef your Subway sandwich to go, uh, your standard order, Brad? I'll do that or the Italian, so I guess I'm going Italian today. You got to get that one. Okay, Prince Harry uh, is back in the UK for his grandfather's funeral. What do we know about it? Well, we know that uh, it'll only be Prince Harry going back for the funeral uh, because Meghan Markle, you know, she's pregnant with their second child. Uh, she has not been given medical clearance. Now, some would think, hey, that's a pretty good coincidence. 
or a pretty good uh, situation depending on what happened with that interview about a month ago. But anyone who's had a family member who's been pregnant, you know it's risky to fly. So it, it makes sense that she wouldn't make the trip across the pond. But you know what's going to happen, Brad, it, 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 th that her detractors aren't going to believe anything. So no matter what they say, they're going to use it as a reason to, to continue not liking her. Well, that's absolutely it, yeah. Jason. And I, I read a report this morning that the family will have a private live stream as well. So if she wants to tune in, she can do it that way. But like you said, uh, no matter what you yep. say, no matter what she does, uh, people are going to believe what they want to believe. Let's talk about the Friends reunion. Uh, it's been shot and it will feature some familiar, obviously, faces, but some familiar places. What do we know? Yeah, we got a little bit of information on it over the weekend. We know over the cor course of about three days uh, last week, they shot this thing here on the Warner Brothers studio lot. Uh, and if you're a, fan of friend, or if you're a fan of Friends, uh, you know in the opening credits, uh, they had that water fountain that the, the cast climbs in. You can see it there. Uh, they actually filmed some of the reunion special around that fountain. You can see they had some bleachers set up and some other equipment, and they also use one of the old sound stages there, so uh, fans will see some familiar set pieces, that's for sure. I love that Matthew Perry posted a picture in the makeup room, and you know Warner Brothers yelled at him, and then it suddenly disappeared. That was up, I think it was less than an hour. He totally wasn't allowed to do that, but uh, you can't get rid of it. It's on the internet now. That's right. Uh, Dolly Parton, she has ice cream, a, a flavor, it's out. And some folks on the internet are using it to cash in. How are folks taking advantage of Dolly? It's crazy. So there was a, a strawberry pretzel pie uh, ice cream released with Jenny's last week. Uh, I think they only did like 10,000 pints or something like that. So you can imagine it sold out very, very quickly. Uh, and as always, people tried to take advantage of that, posting on eBay the pints for up to $1,000. Oh, my uh, goodness. Now, the one that we saw, Jason, that was at $1,000, doesn't have any bids yet. I'll be shocked if it does. Who knows how it travels too? Uh, so that's a risk as well, even though they, uh, the seller says they'll pack it with dry ice. Of course they will. A thousand dollar pint of melted ice cream. Brad, <laughs> exactly. have a good week, my friend. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. For more of these stories, go to TMZ.com. Uh, I was fired from Subway once, Kendall. Um, I have only been fired from two jobs. Uh, uh, the Disney store, which I've told that story a thousand mm -hmm. times because mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't perky enough. And then Subway, I was fired. My friend worked there, got me a job. I lasted exactly one day. The manager barely wanted to hire me, but only did it because my friend was a good employee. They used to have a sandwich there called the tuna tuna tuna. And that was what this, the tuna sandwich was called, the tuna tuna tuna. Mm -hmm. And they also had a sandwich called the veggies and cheese. Well, you know me, I'm a smart aleck. Mm -hmm. Always have been, always will be. Mm -hmm. They put me on drive through uh, everybody called in sick. I'm on drive through my first day. So Anne, my friend, my friend and I were obviously running the joint. So a, a poem, someone comes in, they go, hi, um, what's on the tuna, tuna, tuna? And I went, tuna, tuna, tuna. And then someone else pulled up and they said, what's on the veggies? This is in the earlier days of so what's on the veggies and cheese? And I went, uh, veggies and cheese. I was swiftly fired. I was uh, removed from the premises. Yeah. I can't imagine why. I, I, I mean. You didn't put the art and artisan. I did not. No. I was not a good sandwich artist. No. Next in the dish, it was another episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, and we're getting closer. Are we? We're getting closer <laughs> to the finale. This season's been going on for years. The top four had to uh, perform uh, sing, lip sync for their life. Look at this. Before I can determine who moves on to the grand finale, RuPaul's Drag Race, I want to see you all lip sync for your life. I have not been in the bottom two during this competition, and this is the top four. The stakes are higher than they ever have been or will ever be. But you're going to do it one at a a time. I am truly gagged to my core. I assumed I was gonna be running around the stage with all four of these <laughs> bumping into them, living my fantasy, but no. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and save yourselves from elimination. Well, the top four remain the top four, which is just, a, 
they barely have gotten rid of anybody this season, which has driven us all crazy. Mm. But this is what I'm going to say about this. This is how much I love Ted. You know, Ted was off last week. Mm -hmm. uh, Baby Bjorn was filling in. Mm -hmm. As you know, Ted watched two weeks of Drag Race. Obviously did not, he, he didn't learn all of the lessons because this, I purposely left this in the teleprompter. It said, they sang for their life. They don't sing, Ted. Ted. They lip sync for their life, Ted. Lip sync for their life. Ted wrote, they sang for their they life. Sang. I thought he paid attention. No. I mean, didn't we all think that Ted learned the ABCs of drag? No. No, he obviously. He may did I not. ask a question? You may ask, honey. You, you, so you can ask anything you want. Okay. Who is your favorite in that group and which one is it? Because I won't know her name. Oh, the, my favorite is uh, Rose or I love uh, Simone. Yeah. Oh. My least favorite is Candy Muse. I am not amused by Candy Muse. I wanted her to go home at the season premiere. Was, the, was Candy the one that looked like a Dalmatian almost? No, that's Got Mick. I'm going to be wearing a similar outfit tomorrow. I'm wearing, a, <laughs> I'm wearing that one. I like it. That'll get, oh, could you imagine if I showed up wearing that? Oh, my goodness. Our, our general manager, Sheila. It, she would turn into a Warner Brothers cartoon. <laughs> it would, you know, the wolf or the wolf, yeah. ah, her eyes would come out. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I would get text messages. Then I would have three jobs I'd be fired from. Subway, Disney, and Fox 9. That's right. Bye, Jason. Bye, Jason. Again, it'll be called Frank. We'll, get it, we'll just replace the name on the floor. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love that Leo takes a shot of thank you right there. Frank. Next in the dish, there's a new Midwestern salad that's causing an uproar online. And thanks to Food Network star and Minnesotan Molly Ye, it's called Crunchy Snap Pea Popcorn Salad. Look at that disgusting thing. It calls for snap peas, shallots, carrots, celery, popcorn, and mayo. Molly calls it so Midwestern and so quirky. She says some people will even throw fish in it. Oh, like tuna. I've had it that way. I think I've had it that way. I'm sorry, you've had this? Well, I didn't think I had, and then I saw it, and I was like, oh, yeah, I've totally eaten that. I don't remember. Where, where did you eat this? I like a church thing. I, no, no. No. How about no? There's a lot of, like, I, snicker salad. Okay. I love a good snicker salad. Mm -hmm. Which we have, I mean, oh, I love a Snicker salad. Yes. I don't like it when I go, my, my sister-in-law, Tammy, and I'm going to call her out. Mm -hmm. I was going to change her name to protect her. No, Tammy. <laughs> don't ever, ever eat Snicker salad with my sister-in-law, Tammy. Because what happens is she distracts the family. Oh, look, kids. Look, a bear. And then all the family go look out the window. And then she goes into the kitchen and eats all of the Snickers out of the salad. And then you come back. When, and then you're like, oh, I'm going to get some Snickers salad. It's just whipped cream. Whipped cream and grapes. I mean, it could be worse. Anyway, that looks disgusting. Maybe you've had it. If you make popcorn salad, will you email us and let us know? Is this a thing? It's a thing. I, it's a thing. Okay. It's a thing. Yeah, you don't sound real confident. It's a thing. We're going to take a break. Hey, we have more salad stuff when we come back. Back in a moment. Yes, we do. Well, when most people think of salads, they imagine something with lettuce. But if uh, here in Minnesota, because if you're watching us uh, from other parts of the country, salads can mean something totally different here with ingredients like Jello Whip uh, or uh, like Cool Whip rather, Jello and even candy bars. And by the way, I have a very uh, serious correction. I said that Snickers salad has grapes; it has apples. Apples. A Minnesota mom is earning fame on TikTok thanks to these Minnesota salads. Look at this. Oh, hi there, and welcome to Minnesota salads that aren't really salads. Tonight we're doing two of our most requested salads. So That's right, folks. We're turning apples, pudding, Cool Whip, and Snicker bars into a salad. Chop the Snicker bars. The magic of transition. Chop those apples. Some say peel them too, but I leave the skins on because I think they look pretty. Mix your pudding into your apples. Mix in your chopped up Snickers. Measure it with your heart. Fold in the Cool Whip. And there you have it, Snicker salad. It tastes a lot like a caramel apple. And if you're wondering, it does. Amber Schwartzrock is exposing the world 
and I do mean that to our sweet salads with her that Midwestern mom persona and Amber joins us live this morning. Hi, Amber. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Oh, Amber, <laughs> I just want to come through the TV and hug you. How you doing? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. How did Amber, how did this and we're going to talk <laughs> specifically about TikTok in the next segment, but how did this begin for you? Like, how did you take this persona and decide to put it to tick, put it on TikTok? Um, I, I don't know. It, it happened overnight. Um, I have lived outside of Minnesota for 20 years and then I moved back about four years ago and uh, I've lived on the East Coast. I've lived in Colorado. I've lived abroad and I've always thought when I come home, you know, everybody would think this is so funny. Every time we have a family gathering, we have jello salad. We have pudding salad. We have Snickers salad. We have cookie salad. And um, and, and that has been the reaction around the world on TikTok. Um, people in Australia have asked me, what, what exactly is Cool Whip? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and I, I say, well, I think some of the ingredients might be illegal in your country, but. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so we, uh, I, I just, I've always meant to write a blog about Minnesota food and Minnesota gatherings, you know, our small town festivals, um, everything that we do, you know, from the Lutheran church ladies to, to our potlucks. Um, but uh, I, I'm a mom and I have dyslexia, so writing's not my forte, but um, I'm a performing artist. So I was like, you know what, let's just try this. Let's just try this TikTok thing. And it blew up overnight. Um, I, I wasn't expecting it. People ask questions all the time. They say, my grandma made that. You know, my Auntie Barb brought that always to Thanksgiving. And nobody else could bring it because it was her salad. Um, so it's just been, it's been a wild trip. It's been so fun to interact with people all over the country and all over the world. Amber, you, you, you were telling my producers that your friends that you've actually made these salads for they don't they still don't get it i mean do you, is it no it, it doesn't click with them does it no um i think the best reaction i had was when i lived in baltimore and i served uh we call it raspberry pretzel salad it's the jello salad with pretzels on the bottom what wait 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 cheese. wait 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 i have not heard of this That's i've lived the newest here for tiktok you got to check out the newest tiktok video i posted it two days ago this one's amazing okay wait wait so, so what is this again it's raspberry, uh, raspberry pretzel salad. You put butter, sugar, and crushed pretzels on the bottom. The middle layer is Cool Whip cream cheese and powdered sugar, and the top layer is jello and raspberries, and it's divine. I don't know why we call that one salad, actually. I think it's because it's like a jello mold, um, but I served it alongside the Thanksgiving turkey in Baltimore, <laughs> and <laughs> I was going to... I was going to the Peabody Conservatory of Music at the time, so a lot of my friends were actually from Korea, and my accompanist was like, "Amber, why, what, why you call this salad? What, what, what makes this salad?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just call it a, a dessert. Let's forget the salad thing. Let's call it dessert. But what? it's an excuse to have dessert twice because you serve the salad with dinner and then you have dessert afterwards. <laughs> Amber, is that raspberry one? Is that your favorite? Uh, yeah, probably. I have to admit. Um, oh, and we're looking, <laughs> we're looking at the video. We're looking at your TikTok of you making the raspberry one. I, I got I've been here 25 years and that's one that I have not had. I, I haven't made it or tried now. I have, I have to try this one. It's, it's amazing. Um, everybody came on and claimed that they make it with strawberries and they prefer strawberry with jello better. I prefer the raspberries because it's tart and sweet and salty all at the same time. It's just, oh, it's a culinary delight, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amber, we're going to play Price is Right. I want you to give me how much in a year do you think you spend on Cool Whip? Oh, okay, so my character is based on my mom. It's not based on me. <laughs> My mom, these are my mom's products back here. She had this all in her pantry and we No, just, no, yeah. that's ready to go. That was just, you didn't do this for TV? No, this is from my mother's pantry. <laughs> There's also a TikTok video touring my mom's pantry. <laughs> that, okay, because Amber, you know, I mean, you know, you're in, you're in this biz. You know that even peep, there's a, there's a, there's a, a rating background site. There's a guy that rates backgrounds yeah. of, of Zoom interviews. 
I thought that that your background, I thought you bought all of that for interviews. No. That's, no. that's naturally your mother's. That is, that is literally my mom's pantry. And actually that's not even half the jello she has right now. <laughs> Dying. Because Absolute. You have to buy it when it's on sale. You no. do. Otherwise it's really expensive. I know. <laughs> My mom, my mom loves her Sam's Club, and instead of just buying like, mm -hmm. and and it's you know, my mom is just one per. My mom will buy like fifty thousand of something, you know, because yep. it's a good deal. It is. Yeah. It is, and in Minnesota, we have to have three freezers to put it in. So. That's right. <laughs> okay, we have more with Amber, and if you want to see Amber's salad videos, follow that Midwestern mom on TikTok. Uh, we started our own Jason Show TikTok last week. After the break, we're going to get some pointing, pointers on going viral with Amber. That and more when we come back. Next. <laughs> oh, that's great. Tonight we're doing a church potluck staple, Keebler Elf cookie salad. Of course, my Keebler Elves fudge striped cookies have already been ripped into by my children because I literally only buy them to make this salad for the church potluck. Pineapple is optioned. Lots of people add it, lots of people don't. Just make sure the fruit is well drained. Mix one package of vanilla instant pudding with one cup of cold buttermilk. Crush two rows of cookies. This is very important. If you're making it for the church potluck tomorrow, make sure you put the crushed cookies in a Ziploc bag and mix right before serving. Otherwise, they get soggy. Fold it in. Make sure to decorate the edge of the salad in your favorite Tupperware dish. Okay. Loving life. Another Minnesota salad from that Midwestern mom on TikTok. That video alone has nearly 22,000 likes. Amber has tens of thousands of followers on TikTok and is approaching a million total likes. And Amber uh, is back with us. So uh, Amber, when did you start to realize that this was taking off? Oh gosh, um, I, I posted, not in character, I posted, uh, I think it's called Watergate salad. We call it pistachio fluff salad. It's just pistachio pudding and Cool Whip and pineapple. And I just made it and I said, uh, I did it in my normal Midwestern accent. And then I said, oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna post this in a Minnesota accent. So let me know in the comments, which character you prefer. And everybody just went bonkers. And then I posted one other Minnesota salad. I can't remember which one it was. Um, and cookie salad is the one that really took off. Cookie and snicker salad um, took off. And then because a girl can only eat so much Cool Whip in a day, I did um, like, the, the ham and pickle roll-ups and I've done tater tot hot dish. I've done uh, funeral party potatoes. Um, every time I post something that is so normal that we eat around here, everybody just goes crazy. And it's not, it's not always positive. I mean, usually the vibe is pretty positive, but um, it, it, people will argue about how they make tater tot hot dish and how that it's better than what I did on camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I like this, this is not a cooking channel. This is a humor Minnesota channel. Yeah. And, and I'm just using salads because it's hilarious. We were laughing during the break, Amber, that Cool Whip containers turn into Minnesota's Tupperware. Do you, does your yes. mom? Yeah. I, I did an episode on that. <laughs> did you? Of course you did. Of course you did. So. We do not throw out Cool Whip containers or sour cream or cottage cheese. No. No. It, it's all. We it's reuse all, those. That's what leftovers are for. It, <laughs> it, you, you know, it used to be in the day, and, and to a certain degree, it still is. You know, it, you, when you would walk around, if you were a, a local celeb, uh, you would walk into a grocery store and people are like, oh, I saw you on TV. Now it is, hey, I saw you on TikTok. What is the reaction to your town to you? Um, actually funny story. Uh, while I was making a Minnesota salad off handedly, my mom's a hairdresser. So she puts my hair in rollers, curlers for this. <laughs> and off handedly, I went to the grocery store to go get the ingredients. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, I'm wasting a great opportunity here. I should be recording this. Yep. That's the one it's at 750,000 views. I, 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 I don't, people are comparing me to like how I met your mother. Um, oh, I forgot the actress's name, but she's like the, the token Midwestern actor people are comparing me to the movie Fargo um and everybody's like wait a minute cottage cheese what are you going to do with cottage cheese um and so the grocery store employees um every time I go in with my hair rollers now they're like oh what salad are we making tonight how many views <laughs> are we at now how many followers do you have <laughs> so, 
And the Freezy Farm is going to do an article about me and my TikTok and the Jason show. So oh, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've made it, Amber. I know. I'm so excited. Can anybody get me get Cliff to sponsor me? That would be fabulous. I know. Seriously. <laughs> Again, I just, I, I got to say, the background being your mom's is my favorite thing that's happened on the show in, in, in a several weeks. <laughs> that that is just your mom's organic pantry is fantastic. Is. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. How many followers do you have now, Amber? Do you know? Um, I just broke 40,000 yesterday, so that's kind of crazy. Um, 40,000 people want to see what I do with Jello. <laughs> <laughs> There's your bio line. I love it. <laughs> well, continued success. Will you please come back and see us? Oh, I would love to. Thank you so much for having me. Perfect. Amber, thank you so much. Be sure to follow Amber on TikTok. Her handle is that Midwestern mom. And while you're on TikTok, don't forget to follow us. We're very happy. We're very proud of our new channel, The Jason Show TV. Again, The Jason Show TV on TikTok. We'll take a break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Let's make it a good day. We do it our own way. Let's make it a good day. Oh, no matter what they say. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Kicking off a brand new week. A little Yam House. Mm -hmm. We love the guys. Follow them on social media. Well, it wasn't the greatest uh, weather this weekend. Oh, it was. It was just, ugh. But it seems many of you stayed busy on our Instagram page. I asked you to describe your weekend. 61% of you said it was busy. Well, this is my, these are my people. 39% said they never left their couch. Good for you. That's, the, that's a great weekend. Those are your people. Those are my people. You just lay on the couch and you watch show after show after show. I've been watching Restaurant Impossible on the Discovery Plus app. I love that show. I love a good makeover. I was going to ask, is that the one where they have restaurants in really cool locations that aren't doing well? Yeah, it could be in any location, but Robert okay. Irvine, he's the, he's the big dude. He's, he's what? Let's get busy! I think that's his line or something. I don't know. Scary. He, it's very scary. Okay. Remember to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Our handle is Jason Show TV. Thanks. We do appreciate you following us. Well, it was obvious many of you stayed busy because on our Facebook page, I asked you uh, to show us your weekend as well, and here are the results. First up, Amy took my recommendation to check out Hope Breakfast Bar in St. Paul to celebrate her birthday, and she says it did not disappoint. Amazing lunch. I'm glad that worked out, Amy. Many others celebrated birthdays this weekend. Allison celebrated her birthday and the one-week adoptiversary of her dog, Mr. Patches. Nancy celebrated her grandson's second birthday with a mouse house party. And Jennifer celebrated her husband's 50th with this cake from Something Sweet by Maddie Lou. Some of you cooked and baked this weekend. Nicole says this was the first time she's made homemade eggs Benedict, and they were delicious, and they look great too. Jennifer made a seafood boil for the very first time. I would like some of that. Roxanne made a birthday cake with a brownie layer, chocolate layer, and a caramel peanuts and Snickers topping. Love that. Dee Dee whipped up this cake for a cute one-year-old. And Deborah made better than sex cake. She says it was delicious. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Many people went on a road trip to the North Shore. Our buddy Christopher Straub visited Duluth and Split Rock Lighthouse. He said it was rainy and chilly, but still so beautiful. Tiffany got daughter and niece some caramel apples in Canal Park. Jenny went up to Duluth for the day and got a special treat. And Amy celebrated with a getaway to Lake Superior. Spring in Minnesota means getting the dock ready. Veronica and her family did just that at their cabin. We did as well. Courtney thought it was a nice weekend to paint her house, but the paint ended up being mistinted, and now she has a big old mess. Patty went to a favorite TV or movie character party dressed as Bridgerton. I love that. Nicole and her husband went to the Twins game on Saturday. And finally, Amy says they introduced their kids to pull tabs. She won a dollar, but lost it on the next card. I know the feeling. Believe me, I know the feeling. You know it. That happened this weekend. It did? It did. Mm. We were, uh, went to the Pine Brook. Mm -hmm. uh, I named it a best thing ever in between Princeton and Cambridge. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
First pull, one. One, a nice one, two big winners right off the top. Yeah. That's the way you do it. Uh-huh. And Saturday, we decided to go back out. And we lost it all? I won't say. <gasps> but let's just say it wasn't a profitable endeavor. I'm sorry. But you know what? As we say, you can't put a price on fun. I you can, could, though, and it was really expensive. But it was, <laughs> it was, a, it was a good time. It was, yeah. A, yeah. We made the good. most of it. We made the most of it. Good people up there in Princeton and Cambridge. I love them. They're in the Pine Brook and Highway Inn and Neighbors. I'm listing all my favorite places. And the finish line. And Shooters. Love the Shooters. That's okay. the, all, I've named literally every the bar in, in Princeton and Cambridge. Yeah. <laughs> Good people up there. We love you. We're going to take a break, everybody. We're going to wrap things up when we come back. Back in a moment. <laughs> Neighbors. There's another one. The Legion. I love a good Legion. Welcome back to the old show. Don't forget to sign up to be part of the Jason Show virtual audience. Go to our Facebook page, hit the Jason Show, or search for it. Just search for Jason Show TV and click the link at the top of the page. Sign up for a certain date and you'll be a part of the show. And I should tell you that now we have audiences Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Again, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. In my hand, I'm holding the magical mystery bubblegum question of the day. You ready? Uh huh. If you had a reality show about your life, what would it be called? That answer. Nice face, Kendall. When we return, back in a moment. <laughs> I don't know. Welcome back. Kendall joins me again. It's time to answer the bubblegum goodbye question. Mm -hmm. If you had a reality show based on your life, what would it be called? Ladies first. Life's a party. Kind of. Oh, that's very nice. It's very long. <laughs> I don't see the logo there. Life's a party. Kind yeah, of. Kind well, of. Well, I mean, I like to have fun. I like to throw social engagements. I like to try new things. I work on the show that's fun. But then also, like, I do the laundry and stuff. So it's kind of. I get it. What's yours? Minnesota ice. Instead of nice. You know, I'm a little, you know, a little snarky. Little, I don't know. Ice. Maybe that's maybe too generic, but yeah, Minnesota, Minnesota ice. Minnesota ice. We should hire someone to think of better names. I know. I mean, yeah. yours is fine. Mine's mm, kind of. We are both both uh, middling. It could be a dream come true for every Star Wars fan. Disney may be ready to start selling an actual lightsaber. During a recent press event, the chairman of the Disney Park showed off a new lightsaber, one that can extend and retract its blade, just like, well, the lightsabers that you see Luke using right there. The current lightsabers people can create and buy at Disney parks are hugely popular and expensive, uh, but do not retract. Uh, I wouldn't know such thing. I've never purchased a lightsaber ever uh, anytime I've ever gone to the Disney parks, except that time right there. Uh, that's it's very realistic. And the time before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then a couple months ago. Uh -huh. uh, no word if Disney plans to start selling the retractable sabers. That, um, that is after the lightsaber ceremony. And you're There's just, sorry. I'm sorry, are you laughing at me? There's a ceremony? Um, yeah, there's a whole ceremony. I have video, maybe I'll show you tomorrow if you're nice. Do they knight you? Do they knight me? This isn't a, this Excalibur. This is Star Wars. What else do you do with a ceremony? Well, does Yoda come out? No, Yoda talks to you. Saber, you shall have. No, uh, now you're just mocking me. No. Uh, you're just sassing me here. Mm -hmm. But I'll show you the video tomorrow. You pick the color blade, and okay. then the Jedi, you build it. Wait, it's not picked for you? No, you, you build the whole thing. Oh. Now, see, now I know you're just, now you're just picking on me, but mm -hmm. that's all right, because I pick on you most days of the week. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fun, though. But you got to make cool. an appointment, cool. and you go in there, and the, the Jedi yeah. shows you, and then Yoda tells you, ignite your saber, you shall. And then you turn it on. That was really good. My Yoda? Yeah. I do a decent Yoda, yeah. A decent? That's, that's fantastic. Ted, single he is. That yeah. should be in your bio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do good Yoda. Yeah. That's right. Tomorrow on the show, speaking, speaking of Ted, could producer Ted make it in the NFL. Uh. <laughs> the crew is stunned silent. 
He heads to a local gym where the trainers try to get him ready for the NFL draft. Will the scouts be calling him? That's tomorrow. I have nothing more to say. Nope. That's going to do it for us. I will say this. If you're watching and you're a kid that's being bullied, go out there and be yourself because nobody can tell you you're doing it wrong. See you tomorrow, everybody.